Let's go. I'm streaming to a whole one viewer. Hello, one viewer. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I was going to look into it and then got distracted. This but is... I wouldn't be su wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the mythology from Frozen is actual real stuff. Oh Christ, that'd be awesome. I mean, you mentioned us rolling into the target. Born of cold and winter, air and mountain rain combining. <laughs> Um, it wasn't that song, it was one of the other songs that sounded like it could very well be. Mm. Um, oh, what was it? I've got a ten-year-old daughter, so I know that movie backwards. <laughs> uh. Yes, well, I had a five- and three-year-old cousin over today. Ah, oh, cute. Yes, unless they want to sit on your lap for a few hours, fall asleep and watch Frozen. Oh, cute. Oh, I've got Mavericks on my jet and gun yes, I did. I did say that I um, forgot to change our loadout. Oh, I yes. am, for some reason, only taking two BK-90s. Feel free to take four if you want. Uh, you know me. I'm, I'm a jamming, jamming kind of guy. Yeah, I've got two and winders. Yeah. All right. Request rearming. Copy. You know my theory about Frozen? Shoot. Alright, so... Actually, hang on. I'll just put my tact numbers in for the BK-90. 922. And we're attacking from the ocean, aren't we? Um, we can attack from any which way you want. I was just going to go pretty much straight up there. Which yeah. puts us on a slightly... Like, slightly from the land, but not really. It's alright. Oh, good. Just actually, loading my cartridge. You know what? You know what? Mm. Load... Um, two six zero for ten. No, uh, two six zero for fifteen, even. Okay, give me a sec. That's off B two, isn't it? Um, you go B two. I'll go B one. Yeah, give me a second. I'll just load my uh, runways in, and then I'll do that. And then I'll tell you my theory about. It. Okay, sorry. You said um, like a pop up point from B. So I'll hit B two. Yep. And what are those numbers again? Two six zero for fifteen. And for some reason, it's not working for me. Uh, pronounce the 15 and press B2. Or the actual waypoint itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, not for me either. Uh, make him attacked, um, a tactical waypoint first. So, input 9, waypoint. Say again? Make it a mission waypoint. That might help. Oh, yes. That's why it's not working. So, hang on. So, you said 260, didn't you? 260, yep. For 150. Yep. That worked. Just make yep. sure you're in yeah, LS when uh, you take off. Yep. Okay. Confirm you're hitting B2. Yep. B2 is my target. Two. Okay. Um, did we want to go now before all the seed people get there? Uh, your mission. I mean, no one's going to give you crap uh, for it. Yeah, I reckon we wait a bit. Um, right. Let's kill our lights. We can hide in the shadows. Sounds good. Alright, so, Frozen, yeah? Yep. So, you know, I mean, you've seen it. Spoiler alert for anyone watching this who hasn't seen Frozen, but, you know, you need to. It's it's, it's wonderful. Um, <laughs> it's so bad. It's a really cool movie. It is, isn't it? Like, the second one, not so much, but the first one is interesting. But, alright, so, Prince Han. Is he a prince? You know, the, the, the that guy. The... Smiling yep. pretty guy who um, Anna falls in love with and then turns out to be an evil bastard, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so he acts that. he acts pretty um pretty decently up until the big reveal. But he also does things that are unnecessary. Like maybe he's sort of, you know, proving that he's a good person to the people so he can, you know, get in there faster. I, I don't know. But my theory is actually it was the trolls who cast the spell on him. Because the trolls really want Kristoff to marry Anna. And so, in fact, one of their songs, they sing, get the fiancé out of the way and the whole thing will be fixed. Right? So the trolls have the ability to rewrite memories. Like we saw that with Anna when she was a little girl, right? They rewrote the memory. They did this with Prince Han from a distance using their troll magic. Because the very next scene after that song is sung, Han turns evil. Okay. And, like, I mean, wake up, sheeple. It's the trolls, okay? 
I have run this theory past my daughter. She's not a fan. Yeah, I, I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> I don't know enough about Frozen law to um, provide an informed decision. So mm. no, 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 that's cool, man. You do your own research. You come back with the numbers, and we'll talk more. Okay, but this is like this is important shit here. You know what I did think was interesting? Mm. When they released the original Frozen movie, they said the ship that the mother and father died on was going to Rapunzel's wedding. Oh. In the second one, it wasn't. Really? Yeah, the second one, it was going to find that weird land that I can't pronounce. Have a go. I can't even remember how it sounds, so... I know it started with A. <laughs> hmm. Rapunzel's wedding. Now, do we mean, like, the traditional Rapunzel, or do we mean, like, the actual... The, like, the movie, Tangled? Because that is loaded with all kinds of, sh of stuff, man, which they don't want you to know. Um, okay, I didn't know, yeah, I don't know, I just know that when the first one came out I was told, oh, they were off to Rapunzel's wedding, mm. and they died. So here's what you have to do, right, if, if, you know, like, I'm a dad, so you have to find a way to watch these Disney and Pixar movies and enjoy them, because you watch them over and over again, and so constructing elaborate sort of conspiracy theories within them is the best. You know what I saw today, actually? Mm. For such a big company, their animation isn't great. Like, don't get me wrong, some things look amazing. Mm. Fur, leaves, hair, ice, but water and faces and cloth and clothes don't look great. They look terrible. See? If you actually look at it. I'm from the Toy Story era, so... It all looks better, yeah, no, it's, but I think you're right. It's yeah. all better, but compared to what a good animation is now... Mm, oh, yeah, yeah. They're lacking in a lot of places. And there was one scene where they wanted to have a lot of ice magic, so they faded everything else to black. And I'm like, I wonder if that was just to save processing power, because they're now <laughs> There's putting someone's... in thousands of tiny little particles that all glow. There's someone's like 30, 90 there screaming on fire trying to process the image. And it's like, you know what, bro? Yeah. Let's just lower the frames any way we can. Yeah, I, I reckon that's why they did it. And they do it not uncommonly. Hmm. They'll fade out the background a bit. I just like how um, we're, we're sitting here in high-performance Swedish Cold War attack aircraft <laughs> discussing not only the animation but the deep cultural impact of Disney movies and notably Frozen. My daughter is going to love this episode. While just waiting for the rest of the strike fighters to start their jets up. What channel should we be monitoring, by the way? Uh, two five four five hundred. If you're doing that, I won't. I'll just chat yep. with you. Yeah. What I'll do, I'll set it as a preset so I can pop to it. Is there a way of setting presets? Oh, is it? I just type oh, it into the yeah. Yeah, I guess, and just switch in the button. Yeah, easy. Um, so. Let's go F10 for a second. So we're waiting for... Okay, so for no today's mission, we're Oop, hitting... He's the only one airborne. Yeah. He got up fast, didn't he? Yep. I have what? a feeling it was hot started, because there's no way you can actually wait for the INS to align yeah. and have it align that quickly. Oh, I but see him. I don't know. We'll find out. We've got wedge airborne, crash down. Yeah. Oh, um, wedge, wedge and crash airborne. Hmm. Oh, yeah. They just got airborne. So our target is somewhere near, my understanding is it's near Sochi, isn't it? The uh, SAM site's there. Yes. Two yeah. sites um, between, like, see the two runways? Seen. See the yellow road that goes in the V? Yep. They're in that, like, V bit. Okay. So should we... So basically, you, you're hitting waypoint one, I'm hitting waypoint two. We're going to just blanket the place in cluster munitions. Yeah, so there's two different SAM sites. I think you're hitting the SA-3 and I'm hitting the SA-5. Hey. Um, if we set wide, we'll pretty clearly blanket those. The Vipers are taking cluster bombs. The Hornets are taking cluster bombs and harms and towels. Like, we'll be hitting that SAM site with everything we got. Um, another set of Hornets are putting a bunch of 2,000-pound JDAMs along both of the runways. JDAMs for runways. Yes. 
Well, I wanted them to rifle off, or to ripple off four different weapons. Just to me, I guess so. I mean, to me, it's it, it's a dumb weapon, sort of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could I could have given them two thousand pound, just dumb bombs. I guess. Do you remember the last mission where they like rippled something like fifty uh, slammy R's? Go. Okay. Last mission they had like fifty slammy R's. You know, tracked in to blow yes. up different things, and it's like, do you think maybe you need a different, different, different tactic? So, and they didn't actually blow it up, hence why it crashes now, taking four GBU 16s to finish the job. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's a beautiful night. You can just make out, at least I can before YouTube compression. You can sort of make out the terrain just. Yeah. It's still going to be a little iffy trying to navigate. Um, yeah, my gamma must be pretty high because yeah, two point two. I'm gonna uh, drop that to like one point seven. Let's have a play. We should take Let's off shortly really anyway. High. Let's have a look. Well, I'm gonna take off once the vipers fly over. Yeah, I got mine at like one point eight now, and that's probably just about right. It feels better. Yep. Yeah, this feels a lot nicer. So the vipers uh, are launching from. No one's everyone taxiing. Everyone else is launching from Sanaki. Let's have no a look. No one's taxiing. Yeah. Oh, yep. Shugs is, so he's one of the Hornets doing runway strike. Oh, yeah, seen. Um. Oh, four J. Actually, four JDAMs does look cool. Look at that taxi. I'm pretty sure I can cartwheel faster than that, and I can't cartwheel. <laughs> well, you are supposed to taxi at walking speed. Three knots is six Ks an hour. That's walking speed. I mean, so I must be a taxiing really... taxiing yeah. perfect... Perfect pace, taxi. I must be a really motivated bloody... Uh, actually, I should actually warm my pod before I'm talking here. Um, I must be a really motivated walker because I, I taxi this thing pretty damn quick. <laughs> yeah, I taxi this thing often at close to takeoff speed. Yes. In uh, fact, I have been known a couple of times to um, accidentally get airborne while taxiing to the runway. Well, that has happened several times during the Cold War. Like, you know, some engineer will be testing out, you know, the handling of a jet on the ground. Like, the, the most famous one I heard of was, like, a lightning. The, I mean, well, the first the first flight of the Viper was supposed to be a high-speed taxi. Oh, yeah. That, that and was. the engineer um, hit a bump, which I don't know why there was a bump on a taxiway, got airborne, realised he wouldn't be able to safely control it, um had only flown in simulators in the backseat of planes, hmm. went up, did a pattern, and landed the thing. <laughs> Legend. You should give someone their wings for that, I reckon. Like, get yeah, them in. I, you know. Yep. I don't know what happened to that pilot. I can imagine the yeah. severe reprimand. You know well, how last week my DCS went crash and my screens went black? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Guess what happened? DCS went crashed. All and... my screens went black. Yeah. DCS is dead. Damn. At least you aren't hosting the server. Yeah. Well, I host from a different PC anyway. Um, hmm. But I guess it's good that it happened now instead of later. And just hopefully it only happens now and not yeah. later. Well, worst case, uh, I could try and carry a four pack of BK90. But that yes, would. Please do. That would. um. No, take four BK-90s. All right, all right. This hurts. <laughs> you offered. I did too. If only myself to blame. Request rearming. Copy. In fact, in which case I'll set B1 as a tactical waypoint. And... Two six zero one five zero B one. Well, you just go to one. Yeah. Launch two times BK ninety. Switch waypoint. Launch two BK ninety. I'm trying to think. How do I disable? That's that's it. Yep, done it. All good. If you just reset the waypoint twice, it it gets yes. rid of the pop up point. So. Yep. And you can get it back by toggling. Let's just monitor what's happening here. Shugs has... Uh, oh, that's Gilligan. Has Shugs taken off? 
no. Shugs is... St oh my, that, no, that's Sting. Shugs has now increased his speed to 29 kilometers an hour. 29 kilometers an hour, six times walking speed, wow. Yeah, look at him. Tusk, tusk. Hey, there's like massive fires here at Sanaki. Is that part of... Um, I'm guessing that's left over from last mission. I was going to say, geez, taxing at that speed and you cause a massive fireball. I mean, you can't really help some people, can you? Oh, hang on, what's happening over I here? I feel like that's a dig at me. Uh, one of the... Oh, yeah. One of the Hornets just found his uh, high high range. This is what happens, see? You're like a Hornet driver doing a, a decent job, and the vegan guys start up and watch you taxi and give you all kinds of crap. Yeah, because we don't actually need to get airborne for another 10 minutes because we'll beat them to the target otherwise. All right. So 10 minutes. That gives you time to hop back in, start your jet up, and yep. spend probably like eight minutes chatting about <laughs> Frozen or... Actually, hey, hey, did you ever see A Bug's Life? Oh, I have, but I don't remember much yeah, about it. exactly, right? Not very memorable. Watch it again with, like, class and, like, the Soviet Union and what happens when people... It is it is amazing. Also got Kevin Spacey as the villain, so, you know, that that's always fun. If a bit. Ugg's life. That's with, like, the ants and the wasps and stuff, isn't it? I think, like, I think they're crickets or um, grasshoppers, yeah. but, yeah, this is yeah, awesome, grasshoppers awesome sounds scene. Right. Because it's like, you know, there's, there's very few grasshoppers and they're huge and terrifying and they're making the, the ants collect food for them. But yep. there's, you know, and of course, the ants rise up. It's like, it's like proper, you know. Yep, I remember it now. It's so good. I watched it again and I'm like, this is, this is the shit. Um, oh, what was it? There was a couple of actually somewhat inappropriate jokes in Frozen that I noticed. Oh, yeah? I can't remember what they were, but talking to Olaf, I think it was. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, actually, in Frozen 2, Olaf just turns into a weird character. Yeah? He, he has a bit of an existential crisis, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I, I got caught singing Frozen at one point. So, like, I dropped my daughter off at home, and the disc was still in the car, and I was, like, belting out Let It Go as loud as I could. I look over to my right, and there's this like small hatchback with this, these two little old ladies, and they're watching. And um, I, I kept singing. I, I finished the bar. It was good. Hey, he's back. A vegan just appeared. Hey, hey Tempest, that memory. You really just got to let it go. <laughs> hey, mate, some friends are worth melting for. <clears throat> okay, bye. <laughs> Get the fiancé out of the way. I told you, man, the whole thing was rigged. Okay. From the start, he didn't have a chance. Oh, my daughter really wanted to watch... Um, she'd seen Jurassic Park and really wanted to watch The Lost World, the second one, right? Yeah. And I said, look, it is pretty scary. She's like, no, 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 I want to watch it. And I thought, well, you know, I was her age when I saw it. And I forgot to remember the stories my dad told me of me, you know, being terrified sitting in a bus one time, wondering, wondering where the T-Rex was. And, you know, uh, you know that scene in Jurassic Park where the T-Rex, like, eats the guy off the toilet? Yes. Yeah. That, <laughs> it's only, like, the most iconic scene. I was, I, I, now, 90, I was born in 91, so I'm pretty sure I was, I'd, I was toilet trained sometime before this. My, oh. and my, and my, and my dad was very glad that he had done that before yeah, this. I see I see a potential issue here. And um my stepmom, she's you know, we're all in the theatre watching it and there's like there's like monsters and shit like eating people and she's like jumping and going, Oh shit and I turn it I say, and I'm like about, I don't know, four or something. I like tap her on the shoulder and say, It's okay, they're only models <laughs> So But so my daughter goes to watch The Lost World and she's doing really well. And The Lost World is a more adult story anyway. It's not like let's go to a park, it'll be cool. It's like there are mercenaries, there's people trying to make money, there's backstabbing and stuff happening. And we were fine. And there's that scene where there's that guy about to fall through the glass. They're in some, like, van that's fallen off, fallen off a cliff. And she gets through that scene okay. And then there's this scene where this guy's being slowly eaten eaten alive by these little tiny, like, sort of dinosaurs, like, nibbling him. And he's, like, writhing in pain. And it's clear that he's going to die. And the camera sort of pans back. And the river just fills with blood. 
And I look at Eleanor, and this whole time I've been saying, darling, are you sure? Are you sure, honey? I don't know. And then I'm like, darling. And she's like, yeah, okay, dad, <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> I'm like, do we need to have a hug and talk about it? No, no, no. He, he was a bad guy. He deserved to die. But I'm going to watch something else now. Okay. Okay, honey. So okay, let's, let's oh, go. Oh, yeah. So power on. Snip, snap, snip. I hope I haven't made it too hard for us. <laughs> Let's say that was a good mission. Hey, look, turn your landing light on now, so that way, if when you need it for returning home, you've got it. Well, we should be fine, because we wouldn't be staying in there for long enough, and we'll be um, low and fast. Yep. I'm kind of worried about the Hornets runway strike, because um, they'll be going in high, relatively slow, SA5 can be pretty... Uh, I mean, it's, it's not too bad well, it's, on its own, but it's nasty at high, high altitude. It's not the SA5 that I'm worried about. Oh, it's the 3, is it? No, not the 3. <laughs> is it something that sort of rhymes with Oxhound? Oxhound. No? Okay. Something that... Uh, no, that's right. No, no, no. I, I, close to rhyming with Thriller? Oh no. Gears coming up. Powering up. Launching. Left turn. V1. Sorry, U1. I should say. And she is set. 300 clicks. Real power. I'll speed up to 450 and then come back Rotate. to the square. Oh, that wind is beautiful. Even with a full payload, I got off the ground, no worries. Yeah. Alright. What's your current heading? Um, 295. 295. Straight for you, one. Roger that. Coming back to cruise throttle. Do you want my lights on for a minute? No, no, I'll find you anyway. I'll just like, tune up this for a bit. Uh, 295. Using the, the nods, the um. Oh, MVGs. Yeah, I think I had you for a second there. Uh, can you pop a light, just one of them, bright for a second? Lights on. I don't know what light I turned on. Your altitude Big, is, it, red one. is it really low? You oh, really, really low. It's not really low for me. Okay, give me a range from waypoint one. Um, two fifteen. Uh, it's about where I am. I'm worried that we may be so close that I can't spot you. I'm going to press F5 and cheat. Yeah, you're on my nose close and I couldn't see you. Where are you? Christmas tree, your Christmas tree. How am I not seeing you? Oh yeah, hang on. I got a flash then. I got a flash, I did. Alright, let's just fly independent. Um, are oh, you in Verna? No, I'm in... Cruise. Getting some hold ups actually. Visual you. Did I go past you today? Uh you're just about to. How the hell am I not spotting you? Oh I see you. Yeah. Uh that's why. I might have to lift my gamma. So I will flick on my lead loose so you can spot me. Easily. Copy. And I'll flick it off when why we get closer. My big red one flashing. Uh set weapon mode. Uh, I've got a attack, yeah. Why is my big red light flashing? Weapon select. To, is it attack? No, the exterior light. Oh. Not sure. Let's just go red. It's the police light, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I'm getting some slowdown here and there. Yeah, it is Ookie's server, which I don't think is as powerful as the op server. It's fully armed and fully operational DCS server. Alright, so we're we just flying linear to the target, like straight there. Yeah, unless you wanted to do something fancy. I haven't got any uh, that's right. flight plans set up for anything fancy. Gonna just try and chop down. Oops, visual you. 50. 
I'll just try and reduce the scenery somewhat. But I think if it's network, it won't really help. Oh, hang on, I'm slow. Watch the trees, watch the trees. Scene, scene, scene. Thanks, though. Right, I'm in AFK. Just mirror is the AFK light way brighter than it used to be. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, so, since we've both got our weapons, I guess we'll just launch twice on the same target. Yeah. Alright, I will reset my target. Uh, confirming 2600... So, 150. 260150 LS. Done. And I will set my first waypoint to not be... Okay. Have you ever watched Cloud Nine on Netflix? Cloud Nine? No, I don't think I have. I think I think that's what it's called, actually. Hey, our uh, launch time is good. The Vipers are gonna overtake us, which is probably what we want them to do, really. Yeah, just. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take manual control because this is just not happy. There yeah. You're quite slow. I'm formed yeah. upright. Don't see you. Oh no. Surely you can see the big red rotating light. If I go F3, I can. See, I'm, I'm not going to terrain mask right now because that's what kills. If you're trying to form up with someone and they like aggressively terrain mask, like as example, you do. They're trying to, where is he? And I, I get, get sight of you and then you rip around behind a hill as though you're dodging, you know, the <laughs> missile out of behind yeah. enemy lines. You, you think I'm not trying to, like, make it hard for you to form up? Should we burn a one here? This is still hostile territory, isn't it? Or have we taken this? Um, I think this is close to hostile territory. All right, I'm going to get burn a one. Yes, I can see that. Well, I could see that on my NVGs because I couldn't see anything else. Oh, sorry. No problem. I now don't need NVGs to see you because I've got an awesome orange glow. Yep. Screenshot. How about I slow down and you take the lead? Because I'm recording. I suppose well, we I'm both also are. recording, yeah. but you are going to be slower than me, so you retake lead. Okay. I'll go lead burner one now. Yep. Tally. All right. All right let's start a uh, terrain mask. A firm. That's not an order you have to tell me twice. Yeah. Ride's gonna be smooth, not not hard at this point. I want you to keep an eye out for any AAA. Hey, it's and, uh, and leave clearance so I can evade, so not like super close. Copy parade formation. Do do. He will do it. That's a thing. Do do Dear listener and viewer, he will do it. Like I can't trust him to not. <laughs> I will shark feed you, yes. Yeah, I've done it twice now. Twice now. Twice now, he's flown past me, and his tail has gone through something critical, blasted me. There he is, hello. And then, I, I see you angling for a shark fin, don't you dare do it. No, I'm not. Oh, that was I'm just a huge stutter then. Formation. And like, my jet was stuffed, could not fly, you know, the controls aren't working, engine shuts down, power's off in one hit. I look over and he flies all the way home and lands. Yeah, I had literally no issue. So, okay, we've got fires off to the left here, so we should definitely be eyes out for AAA. Ooh, power lines going underneath. Oh, the lag is not good when I'm doing this. There we go. Alright, if I get tagged by AAA, I'm going to hit the power, go up, and create vertical issues. That's usually the best defense against AAA. Copy. Because if you sort of stay at this altitude and roll, you just show your plan form and you get to take more hits. You're better off just ripping the nose and... Which is not going to have fun today. The, the only targets is a heavily escorted AWACS. Hang on, when you said... Um, something that rhyme that, that's, that rhymes with Illa. With Thriller, yes. Thriller. It's not a good rhyme, it's just the close first thing that came into my head. Like Strella? Possibly. 
There are a couple of missiles called Strella too, you notice that? You know, actually I'm beginning to see why you have that Slave SI mode for the HUD. So that it cleans off when you're low. But I'll still leave it as it is. Yeah, I always, first thing I do when I, well, not the first thing I do, but one of the first things I do is turn it so it's always on. Yeah. Um, so Wedge is apparently going after the single contact that he can see on scope, which is the AWACS, mm -hmm. which has got four good defenders. <laughs> what a... Oh, I'm really curious now. And that's that's the only air contact airborne. Right. Uh, I'm going to punch my center line. She's... Uh, can you verify when I do? I'll get over this hill past the trees. Ready? Three, Wait, two... One. Yep, go. Three, two, one, jet. Yep. Good tank. Thanks, Good release. Mate. We got people releasing on the SA5 ready. Suggest we go stage two. Stage two. Yep. Let us yeet ourselves upon the enemy. Yep, pretty much. In my talons I shape clay, crafting life forms as I please. From my throne room, lines of power careen into the skies of Earth. My whims will become lightning bolts, which devastate the mounds of humanity. They will whimper and cry, begging me to end their tedious anarchy. I am drunk with this vision. God, the oh. title suits me well. Crap, that was close. Did you nearly so, If I don't have my NVGs on, I can see where you are fine. Mm. And I can see and not be, you know, blinded. But I can't see the terrain very well. If I do have my NVGs on... Yeah, I, I chopped mine then because the city was too bright. Oh, we just passed a ship, by the way, so... Well, your engine is the bright thing. We, yeah, with Burner 2, we're at 0.8 mark. Man, yeah. I never... This is why I never and carry you're carrying four BK-90s. Yeah. I mean, it's a yeah, lot of boom. I'm... I'm constantly modulating for us to keep up with you. Well, keep up and not overtake. Yeah. I've got to sit, like, really low burner too. Alright, 90k's out. Parameters. I love, I love the fire in that engine. Like, it just looks really good. It does. Giving my viewers a little look. It's almost voyeuristic. Copping left, actually. So I should have warned you first. But yeah, fly loose. So this is sort of how I do it. I react. Uh, you know, they've really improved the night lighting. It looks great. Fuel looks like it'll be okay. I'll be substantially lighter as I'm coming home. Back on the nods. NVGs. Yeah, I'm going to need Burner 3 to release these. Alright. Tree. You right? Yeah, Wedge is just saying that we don't have bulls in the... Vegan is our problem. Well, we can get bulls in a way. Put a waypoint down, get the Delta. Gets a, that, that gets us the own ship. And if we yeah. had a more advanced vegan, I'm sure we'd be able to do something like that. They'd pretty yeah, good an air to air vegan, yes. Mm. But our oh, wedge is like because I asked wedge for a picture before. He's now reporting every contact he sees with bulls, <laughs> which is fine because like I know where it is, where bulls is, but I also know exactly where the hostiles are. Um, <laughs> but I just told him, you know, we don't need exact numbers for bulls east of your position is good enough. Mm. Hey, um, I'll, I'll patch you in on how to listen. I quite like listening to the radio. Should we t top this hill or chop left, do you think? Chop it. Oh, I love... I love that fire. It just... I don't think I've seen... No, this is DCS one, one, one radio check over. Possum 1-1. One, one. Possum 1-1, one, one. this is Loki. Got you loud and clear. Take knowledge out. Yeah. 
Hang on. Possum 1-1. One, one. Yep. That's What's the chopper. Chopper? Yep. That's the Apache. Okay. I didn't see them in the briefing. Possum. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, what operates at yeah. night, yells at people, topping the hill, ripping it around. Oh, yep. I love doing that. That never gets old in the vegan. It never oh. does. I didn't get a screenshot, but I got an awesome... That'll be awesome in the video. Like, just watching that fire, and you just turn and... Oh. <laughs> it's a special jet, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, 40Ks. Like, I, I'm really focused on you, but I know exactly where my waypoint is because yeah. of the HUD. Like... I'm keeping it pretty aggressive here. I want to keep myself low. You call this pretty aggressive? What's your max G? Four? Max G... Yeah, it's 4.1. The fact that you're right is, uh... <laughs> the fact What's that yours? I even... Oh, probably not much more than four. Yeah, 4.1. The fact that I, like, just knew that was about 4G. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do you call that aggressive? I call it aggressive when you exceed the scale of the accelerometer. <laughs> but the accelerometer goes up to 9, and this is a jet that's not supposed to be flying beyond 8. The accelerometer goes up to 10, actually. Alright, I'm going to turn linear for my target. Oh. What happened? I found a tree. You did not! I found a tree. you got to be shitting me! Ah. <sighs> oh. Come on, man. You think I'm not pissed at myself? I was focusing on you and not on me. Oh, no. But if, right. I have, if I have my NVGs on, I can't actually see anything but right. a big flare where you are. I'm about to do my release. Yeah, I'm watching. Speed's good. All right. Oh, I'm ready with my waypoints. Nothing on the scope. Radar's dead. Good and bad, I suppose. All right, releasing one, followed, and then two, followed. Okay, hammer twice. I'm home. Yeah, make sure you're listening to the radio now. Considering I Loki one two no hammer. Can. All right, I'm heading home. Can you re register my shots for me? Did you set? Oh, okay. Two hundred. Did you set higher altitude? Two hundred. Okay. I think that might have saved you there. Yeah? Yeah. Triple A, triple A, triple A. On the BK-90s, from the looks of things. Alright, talk to me. How's it looking? Death, doom and destruction. It's beginning to look a lot like war like crimes. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Everywhere you go, there's right. an explosion in that tree. And in that tree, and in the radars, and the SAMs, and everything. Yeah. Going for a high altitude return home. Help me. No, oh, actually, I now I'm at fuel 24. I will belay that <laughs> climb. You fuel conserve. <laughs> yeah, Hornets have dropped their GBUs. Copy, I'll make a call. Hit about nine minutes. Will I make it on fuel? So how much nasty? Alright, one, two, J down. What's your fuel curve saying? The fuel curve is saying I won't make it, but that's it's updating now. Alright, one, one, J down. Yeah. Uh, remember, 550 is optimal. Go look how many J dams are going in. One, two, yeah, it should be three, eight. four. There should be four for each runway, which should be eight. Thump. Oh, actually, it looks pretty cool. Hang on, I'll get a shot of the runway itself. Uh, oh. Never mind. Oh. Here we go. That'll work. There's the runway. Yeah, I show good fires on my target. Good fires on an industrial sector. More impacts as we go. See, what's the point in them having a smart weapon and then overflying the target? Level 1 1 is defending <laughs> SA5. Bullseye 240. Not for denying. 43. Hey, hey, hey. 250. He says he's defending SA5. And defending. SA5. The defending SA5. Are there any other SA5s than Sochi? No. So, between our harms, sorry, their harms and our BK90s, we haven't disabled the site, apparently. 
Uh, we have. There's no radars left. Oh, there's one SA-3 search radar. They're defending SA-5 shots right now. That's what they're saying. Let me tell you, no. Right, uh, I'm, throttle. I'm looking on spectators. There, there's no red missiles in the air. I'm getting pings off to the south. Tomcats hit one Moscow with one GBU-16. <laughs> It's not a very happy ship at the moment, is it? It's barely damaged. Oh, that double ugly when they fly with that. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. You should... There is another SA-5 that I didn't even know about. Oh, look, Wedge is really far north. Where the hell is this SA-5 site? Yeah, all flights, um, Tamara 1 is in from the uh, east on the target area. Not picking up anything on any of our sensors. Target's blind. I think you're clear, man. Yeah, I think, I think the SA-5 is way up north near Novorossiysk. Novorossiysk. Yeah. yeah, I'm literally searching for it. There's an SA-2. Uh, Tomcat two. Unless it's this. That's an SA-10. So we're at a bit over 400k, 400 meters, so... Yeah, Sombra 1-1 is picking up a search radar in the target area. I'm just going to pick it off a JDAM at that. Unless it's hidden from... That one minus defeated missile. Spectator. It's not here. Like, I don't know where it's from. Line 207, hmm. similarly. Correction, uh, JSAL. Jeez, I'm actually running pretty low on fuel here. 19% below the uh, feather. And you criticize me for crashing into a tree. Well, I mean, there's a chance I'll survive this, but we already know have the answer for you, mate. So, you know how we were criticizing the Hornets for dropping smart weapons yeah, while over the target? Away from, uh, yep. Samurai one -one. You know how uh, I gave them coordinates target, for all four uh, in the hope that they'd do a ripple? Yep. Gilligan, like oh. Gilligan is dropping one at a time. Now, he did mention in the briefing that he has many rums and cokes in. This might be the best way to get him on target. Let's just let's go easy here. <laughs> you press the pickle button. You press the waypoint increment button. You press the pickle button. Anyway, Heinz has got some j cells away. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see them. Yeah. Samurai is inbound with some j cells. Yeah, I'll make it. It says that I won't, but I, I reckon I'll make it to landing. <laughs> landing will definitely be a flip-flop. Let's just be clear on that. <laughs> I, I'm looking at F10 at the moment. Oh, hang on. That's 120. Let's go... Actually, this is looking a bit hairy. I think I'll Come make on. it. Come on, F10. Don't lie to me. I know it's lying to me, because I know there's more stuff in here. Yeah? Yeah. Because I, I know I put a column of tanks up in an area, and I can't see them. And I don't He's... know why. Unless Uki has taken out the entire uh, Sorry, one, two, Samurai, uh, one, two, uh, Jake Dow's on uh, search radar. So no. Area. But, hang on. And These the SA-6 that's pretty much underneath you isn't doing anything. Uh, sorry, did you say the SA-6 that's underneath me? Not directly, but yeah, pretty much. In the blind spot of my RWR, while I'm in cruise configuration, and... <laughs> hang on, I just got tilts. You got tilts? I'm 100 k's out, I just got a... I got tilts, as in the landing alignment, corrected for me, and said fly here. No way. I got tilts. Alright. Oh, I'm going to chop the throttle a bit more. Come on. Um, <laughs> the Vipers have launched their... Um, their j Sals and they're like... 10 plus miles off. Actually, probably not Yeah, I saw that. I just saw it then. Yep, detonating over the... Uh, Four miles off. Oh, they've all had a bit Shugs to drink, is, maybe. Shugs is clean and flying over... 
everything. Mm -hmm. Sting is clean. Every breath you take, I'll be watching you. Okay, let's see if these J-Sales hit. It is a cool looking weapon, isn't it, the J-Sale? Yeah, it is. I don't know what Shugs and Sting are doing just over flying the target. I wish the wish the Strella would get a bit higher. Hey, remember how you mentioned an SA6? Yeah. I'm getting cute little beeps that are just search radars, but every single one of them makes my butt clench. <laughs> All right, fuel calculation is finally saying I might make it, but th there's a revert. It's like a reserve in that. I'll be fine. The thing is, the vegan, despite being good for short range, high speed, you know, shenanigans, actually does pretty well at high altitude cruise. Like the engines just sips gas without the burn yeah, on. It does. So again, the Vipers have not hit where they're supposed to hit, but I swear to God that waypoint was dr dead on. Like, what's going wrong today? Well, it turns out Pork got a BB gun and shot one of the satellites and put everything off <laughs> by just a little couple of... So anyone not using GPS weapons, i.e. flying the Saab jet, is hitting bang on. This is actually a pretty difficult lighting situation. Like I, I... The waypoint is dead on. Oh yeah, good job. Crashes um, put another GBU-16 onto a, another ship and disabled it severely. Looking for crash now. Oh, he's put two GBU-16s onto that. Where is he? Up north. Oh, so it's him and Wedge, is it? Yeah, Wedge was flying cap north. Is he in a Hornet, Wedge? Yep. Interesting. VMFA was holding cap north. Oh, damn, that, that's a screenshot right there. Well, it's a screenshot. Oh, I just got a picture of Crash in his t right hand, sorry, left hand turn with the, the, with the moonlight right across his jet. Looks amazing. All the lights are on too. That's cool. I'll send him off to uh, Tabby afterwards. Oh, let's get rid of that. That does look really cool, actually. DCS really looks quite good. Mm. Send them to Pork and say, look what you're missing. Yeah. So he's over in the fatherland at the moment, is he? Uh, I don't know where he's at. I just know I'm happy because it means I got to make a mission. Oh. Yeah, I think Uki's server is not the way to go. Constant. Although, I'm getting slowdowns when I move my head. Uh... Look. I no, appreciate I the network. fact that Bookie is hosting. Mm. Um, I messaged Penne and got nothing from him. Yeah, he's um, doing some pretty busy stuff at the moment. Yeah, doesn't look like he's flying. 711, uh, Matt Spike, SA5, uh, Balls mm. 225 for 40. Bookie's racing along above a road. Where is he? Uh, racing along near the, the SA6. Ah, uh, I'm trying to find him. Okay, okay, okay. It's like you... not far north of you. Why can't... Near Sukuna. Is he in a chopper? Yeah. I thought he was a Tomcat guy. Yeah, Tomcat and choppers. Actually, I love flying with, with Okie. Yeah. That, that man makes me laugh. Yeah. He's good to fly with. Crash right. is doing a lot of flyovers for not a lot of bomb drops. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. I told him the ships were no threat. I told him the only possible threat was air threat, and he's got a Hornet there escorting him. Hmm. Um, wow, a Hornet escorting a Tomcat. Hmm. All right. So, coming in for a blind approach. Well, not really blind. I can see where I'm flying. But a uh, low-level, low-light approach for Dublin. So... Well, Often during Desert Storm, Hornets would escort Tomcats as bomb trucks mm. because the Hornets targeting pod was not rated and certified for bombing. 
Oh, I heard about that, yeah. Um, interesting. Like, so, like the, the Hornets turn up for the Gulf War in a really interesting state. Like, they're not really using bulls, they're using Brakal still, which is why the US Air Force are kind of like, you know... I think if you look through the, the Mongo video, you know that Hornet that shot down the MiG-21 while keeping its bombs? Yeah. Um, okay. I didn't, but yep. Oh, it's a great interview. I'll, I'll send it to you after, afterwards. But yeah. It's like it's the first time an aircraft seemed to like shoot down someone else, you know, like, like really like demonstrated swing roll. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, I've got looks like about 17% fuel for, for this landing. Ah, you'll be fine. Hang on, did you set a tailwind on landing or a, or a headwind? Uh. I mean, at this level of fuel, it won't matter too much. Tailwind? Uh, okay. But it's nothing. Jeez, this is, these little slowdowns are terrible. I think it's a server, actually, because it's not consistent. It's not when I move my head. It's not when things change. It's when people are flying and doing stuff and sending information. All right. Well, the info does have to get across the ditch, so... Oh, yes. Come on, Crash. Drop your weapon. I want to see it drop. So here's the thing, right? With this little amount of fuel, I'm tempted to do my landing gear as late as possible. But if I have to go around, that will cost me more than anything. So, yeah. I think I got a screenshot of the GBU-16 about two meters under um, Crash's jet in nice. the moonlight with awesome, like, just awesome conditions. All it's right. a really pretty mission. I'm glad I set it for this mm, no, you time. Looks good. Like in the old days, the cities, like, you know, the old DCS days, the cities didn't show up at all at night. Like, you would just fly straight into the ground with no reference points. It's like flying over a oh. desert. And now it's lovely. So Although I wish you could set... Go on. Crash has destroyed one, hit one, which I classify as a kill because they were already damaged, and left one um, frigate. Oh, good one. Hang on, there's a frigate there? Didn't it shoot him yeah. back? No, because they were all damaged from last week's attack. Hmm. So they were all damaged and out of action. Crash was just meant to drop one or two or three or... Ideally, we we're going to have four GBU-16s into each of the three ships, which would have sunk them. Oh, okay. Um, but being that they were already damaged, a single GBU-16 would have sunk it. So mm. two ships are sunk, there's still a millennia left. Yeah. I'm going to do my new cheeky kind of shorter flip-flop landing, where I um, fly to the centre of the circle and then just eat the, ta eat the, uh, the tills and bring it in. So I've got an old Roomba, um, you know, the robot vacuum things. Oh, yeah, an old one. Jeez, how old yep. am I? I remember when those things first came out, and they're like, wow, it's the future. Um, but yeah, this is one of the old dumb ones. But I've got the ability to put an Arduino on the top of it. Oh, no. Um, so I took it apart, like, took it to pieces today. It's really quite modular. It's really cool. Um, and cleaned it out. And I am working on putting an Arduino sensor, or not a sensor kit, but an Arduino control kit on it. So mm -hmm. it'll like detect if it's got any issues. It'll automatically run every day. But you can also take manual control of all its sensors and <laughs> wheels. Okay. And the fact that you're telling me this deeply, deeply concerns me. Um, it's not too concerning. It can't get up out of my room, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd send it down to annoy my sister. <laughs> um, but there's a Arduino library that I saw I was searching for something else and it's a AHAS library oh really? now as soon as I said AHAS did your mind go straight to the back seat of the Tomcat? yeah it did <laughs> yeah it does the exact same thing as AHAS uh, in the Tomcat oh 
Oki was killed. What happened to him? I uh, got hit with a tow missile. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, you know, um, choppers really aren't that survivable. They just aren't. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm half tempted to, once I can get it reliably working, just the basics, go and just scrap the internal code for it, take manual control every single time it needs to vacuum something, <laughs> and um, have it so it maps the room and then goes and finds the most optimal route and everything. That's amazing. Because, you know, what would be more fun than that? Oh, I've got two Ks adrift. Let's see if it corrects for it. So I remember seeing someone had, like, strapped a hunting knife to one of those Roombas and was, like, whenever someone breaks in, there's, like, a program that runs and, like, just just comes out. And the music to, like, you know, um, there can only be one by, you know, from Doom Eternal. <clears throat> Ah, oh, come on, Tills. I don't want to miss my landing. Good I like you flight, uh, devil flight on right RTB. Copy that, Loki 1 1 shot down. Roger that, uh, a line flight is likewise. Apparently, line flight got shot down. Maybe he misheard me. Hang on, Tills. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Let me see it. Hoop. There it is. Hoop. There it is. Alright. Yeah, fuel 9%. Good luck. Oh, I should be right. Don't What's the worst? Around. What's the worst that could happen? You crash on landing. It's almost like you don't trust me sometimes. Yeah. Probably a lot less than you don't trust me. Well, there's a question we have to sort of run past each other here for a moment. How many times have I nuked your road bases? And if that answer is less than one, well, runway in hey, sight. I, I know plenty of people that haven't nuked a road base, hmm. but that doesn't automatically make them trustworthy. But if you had to choose between someone who had used a thermonuclear weapon upon a, a humble road base made by a friend for friends to play on and someone who I don't know, walks dogs or drinks Sprite or does anything else then I think it would be safe to assume I do all of the above Yes, but you also nuke road bases, Neutron which is why we call you Neutron True but still. Like, I'm looking down at these beautiful buildings all around here. All the lights on and the offices. You know, hopes and dreams. Some small child listening to the roar of our f freedom jets flying over. One day that'll be me. And then, oh, a flash happens. And he's gone before he even realizes it. What's that song? <laughs> here comes the sun. Do -do 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 -do. That's, that's dark. Also, when you're this light, it's actually hard to... Like, it's so lifty. This jet wants to keep flying. Like, I'm a really, yep. like, yeah. It's like I'm driving this thing down. And, and that's that's with a tailwind. And down safe. Well, I say that a bit soon. No, I'm all good. Little wobble on landing. Oh, wow. I stopped half. I stopped, yeah, I'm safe. I stopped halfway down the road, road base. This is where you'd be calling safe, not before. Yeah. And better your scoop. Okay. I'm gonna crack a window. Because I had uh, a lot of pickled onions before I took off for this flight. I was gonna add some hangers at the end of the road, like you could sort of drive down to them and, you know. Because the question would be for, for this sort of road base where do they store the jets? I think they usually store them in tunnels, don't they? Uh, sort of, a, like, they have, like, a little foresty clearing, and they cover the jets in, like, mesh, like, camo, a camo mesh. But the vegan's oh. already pretty camo to begin with. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you some photos. It's pretty cool. I know that you can, um, fold the tail off, like, mm. down, yep. which looks awesome. Uh, and they also had tunnels in, in Sweden as well. 
And China yeah. has lots of underground bases. Not sure how well they're being maintained, but they do have them. I think All it right. was Russia that um, built a prototype um, submarine aircraft carrier. Oh, yeah. Gee, if they had that right now, it would make no difference to the war in Ukraine. <laughs> that place. All right, I'll shut down here. Okay. Do you want to jump up to pilot stage then? Yep. I'll uh, cut the recording here. Thanks for the mission, mate. And I'll catch you guys next time.